I greet you from wherever you're receiving me now. So today we want to know why the boats or objects of the kind, okay, do not sink into water beside their weight, beside their mass. And behind us is hidden the principle of Archimedes, which said that for any object immersed in water, this object undergoes a force, okay, a vertical force, which is applied upward on the object okay against the object which force is equal to the water displaced or to the liquid displaced by this object which is found in the liquid All right so here we having our boat which is right now is in the sea okay and we all know that the volumic or the, the the mass volume of the seawater because of the salt that is involved is equal to 1025 kilogram per cubic meter. Okay. Okay. Right. And we realize that this boat, once it's found it's it finds itself itself in the water or in the sea, it displaced a volume of 80 meter cube of water so this said it means that the mass that is being displaced by our boat is equal to 80 meter cube multiplied by 1025 kilogram over meter cube that means that and that will simplify themselves and this will be equal to 82 thousand kilogram this said knowing that our acceleration of gravitation is equal to 10 meter per second square it means then that our force which is equal to the mass down g which is the, gra uh, the gravitational acceleration this is equal to 82 said, 820 thousand Newton, eight hundred twenty thousand Newton. That's what it says there. So now, knowing that our boat has a mass of fifteen ton, which is equal to fifteen thousand kilogram, and then now, which means that. The force of our boat, which is applied on the water, remember, so the weight of our boat is applied as a force on the water. And the water applied according to the, uh, the Archimedes principle, which, which we call the buoyancy, the buoyancy force. This is the buoyancy force. Okay. Applied a force of buoyancy, which is equal to the displaced water. So the displaced water, which is... 820,000 newton so yeah this is the force of water applied on the boat right there and this is the force of the boat applied on the water which is equal to 15,000 kilogram multiplied by the gravitational acceleration which is 10 meter per second square and this gives me 150,000 Newton. We realize that this one is lower than that. So since the force or the force of the boat, the force of the boat, our boat is big B, and that is the buoyancy force, which is I can call it now is the force of water or buoyancy force, is lesser is lesser than the force of water so that's why our boat does not sink the reason why some objects even though small they sink because the displaced water the displaced liquid is lesser than their weight that's why the sink that's why you see if you put a ball let's say a, a marble ball in water it sinks why because its weight 
the weight of the marble is higher than the weight of the displaced water. The weight of the displaced water. So here for you, I have this uh, guy here. His name is J. So J goes into the pool. So this is what happened. So when Joe, sorry, when J realizes is in the pool, the water, okay, let's say our water was at that level, H. So we have, once J is realized is in the pool, we have a certain J, second J, J prime. So that day, that day, I'm going to put here, that day, okay, multiplied by the width of our pool multiplied by the length of our pool this is equal to the volume of j and for record you know you should know the mass the the the, the mass volume of a normal human being you 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 may be or the average of an adult is a view of human is 1062 kilogram per mass cube so this is how you can get j weight by multiplying the volume of the water displaced by that volume that let's put it like that way that mass volume so it was a pleasure of mine sharing this with you and i hope that you guys enjoyed it and uh remember if you haven't subscribed if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and uh, if you feel like sharing this please share so that other people might know what you know and uh, remember to tell other people what you just you know receive as knowledge or something like that and uh, i hope that you're gonna take care of yourself and i hope to see you for the next video for now i'm gonna say bye